guys. Welcome back to another video. Excuse my appearance first, because I look really chopped right now. But you know what? Hi, welcome to another video. I've been understanding how like influencers be happy when they can just pick up the camera again because it's so much fun. Like it really is. Like today I'm gonna do it's really a yap session and I have food. I just wanna yap, but I also have food. So it's a mukbang, but it, I'm gonna title this yap session parentheses mukbang. The thing is, I don't actually know what I'm gonna talk about, so I might like just scroll on TikTok and then like find topics. Only like gave me one grape jelly for two biscuits because I knew these biscuits were small. This is my first time trying these though. It's the honey, the honey, um. Ooh, it's so small, like it's not even funny. I was told that these are the only good things off of the Wendy's breakfast menu. So I got them to try them because I had to, especially for the music for the music video. For the YouTube video, I had to get it to try it. And I'm a breakfast fiend if you know me i'm a breakfast fiend so if you thought that this was going to be like serious topics no i just want to talk okay i found something i want to talk about <laughs> Okay, so y'all know about like how Saucy Santana and DJ Academics is in like beefing or whatever. I just want to say that that's so fucking funny to me. I don't even care what it's about. Honestly, I don't like DJ Academics. So, and it's so funny how like Santana, I need to stop. I need to remember that this is a camera and y'all not like my homegirls right here because I be looking away so much and talking. I hate seeing that when I'm like editing. It's just so funny how Saucy Santana, like he refuses to use any other word other than the word bate boy. And as a Jamaican, I get that. He's not acting like I, he had a video explaining why he keeps saying body boy yeah you may be straight but you acting like a bitch you like <laughs> i don't want y'all to confuse that and try to say that i'm saying that gay people are bitches i'm saying when i use that word specifically body boy as a jamaican to me that just means bitch like it's just a cuss word to me i don't even know if that's a jamaican thing being a jamaican that's all it is for me so it's funny as hell like that he keeps using it and he says it so weird too i don't like dj academics like i don't really know how i feel about the city girls and the city boy but i don't like dj academic i've never liked him every single time he's saying anything at least what comes up on my timeline it's always some dumb dumb stuff i, I just feel like i want to see them fight low-key so it's like it's bad but it's good it's so dry like it's so dry the biscuit isn't a biscuit it's like a cushion of some sort i think that's just because it's a dry ass biscuit it's almost like a fried dumpling texture it's almost as tough as that and then paired with this dry chicken and they said this is the best thing that wendy's has to offer that means it gets downhill this is ass it tastes all right though it tastes good it's just the texture is like not what i'd want from a biscuit sandwich <laughs> yeah that's all i have to say about dj academics and saucy santana <laughs> I do want to just touch on like people on social media, especially TikTok. People just can't like laugh and let love be love anymore. Like I swear to God, people will see like a couple or a happy relationship. Let's say like okay, the guy doesn't look at her lovingly. The comments are gonna be like, oh, uh, look the way he looking at her. I could tell that he probably hates her, and he probably has five baby mamas that he's keeping a secret from her. Like they just be so like, what the hell are you talking about? I just saw the TikTok him. Yeah. He has a girlfriend, the honey girl, and he has his braider. He always showing love to his braider. And I be watching them videos, it don't be nothing. Like, I feel like it really don't be nothing. I'm just looking at it, I'm just like, bro, this just looks like two people who do content who are trying to make, like, some good-ass content. Like, that's all it looks like, and that's what it is. And then people always be talking about how he cheating, he cheating, he cheating. And I'm just like, bro, y'all literally need to get checked out. What? Like, what are you talking about? And I also feel like the only reason why they even saying that is because she's attractive i feel like the world would really be a better place if people would just like shut up sometimes dead like why can't you just see somebody and just be happy for them and they do this on other platforms too but i'm mainly on tiktok that's more business will post their product. All in the comments, you'll see people asking how many questions, like, oh, 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 but you didn't, you didn't multiply by the square root of seven and, and, and eat my, like, why are you trying to like disprove people and discredit people all the time and tear people down like all the time? Like if it's a hair product, for instance, let's say it's like lace glue, they'd be like, oh, well, yeah, you tried out the glue, but you didn't leave it on for seven days and then try to take it off. Oh yeah, you try, you you tested the glue, but you didn't, you didn't glue your hand to a brick and try to see if it will fall off if you jumped in the lake. That just be bringing my day down sometimes. Like, hi, live from the editing room.
basically my point here is that people always have something to say and it seems like people are always like looking for a reason to not like something to be negative not like someone and it's crazy because it's like people would really rather be negative than to be indifferent you could just not care like you could see it you could not like it you could have your qualms about it and just not care and people would literally rather choose to be negative and spread negativity i will never get that and that's all i have to say yeah that's just like weird to me think you the shit bitch you're not even the fault i kind of found a topic i love the term standing on business that is like top 10 term but i'm really standing on business like when you start standing on business you be understanding what it means to stand on the business Sometimes you can only hate from outside the club because you can't get in. But once you get into the standing on business club, you know exactly what it's like to party. Hey, stick a, a feather up my butt and call me Shakespeare. Cause that was bars. Poets, I'm a poet. Standing on business is really cool to say. And it's also kind of silly, dare I say. Top 10 term, top 10, top 10. I'm, I'm really standing on big business. It's a different topic now. Everything that's going on, I honestly don't even know like everywhere where things are going on, but I know Palestine and I know Congo. I feel like there's more places, but what's like in the forefront of my head, Palestine and Congo, I'm really like sending out my prayers. I'm not as educated as I could be. Like, I know enough about it to know that it's important. I'm just doing my part. That's all I know. I'm boycotting places, at least the places that I know of. You never know who's gonna watch this. I did wanna just say that because I still have a platform or whatever and just the acknowledgement matters. We really need to stand on business for real. I got that topic from this TikTok creator. I forgot I was recording. Oopsies. Okay, I found another topic. Gender roles. I don't give a fuck about no gender role. All I know is my man is gonna spoil me. That's not because he's a man. That's not because I'm a girl. That's because I'm spoiled. And I won't have it any other way. So, I don't really care about no gender roles. All I know is, it's only one that interests me. And that's the man as the provider. I don't know nothing about nothing else. Baby. Honestly, I only mentioned this because I wanted to say that and too so that I can have something to put on a thumbnail like gender roles and that's like all controversial. You get to the gender roles part. It's just me saying I don't give up. I do feel like a man is supposed to be the provider and a woman is supposed to be the nurturer, but I don't I don't think that's the only way to do it. Because you know, people are different. Whether the different is good or bad is up to interpretation, but people are different. People go for different things. But, you know, different things work for different people. And I believe that I shouldn't have to work. I think it should be a choice. But why do I have to work? But then again, I am just, I'm just a spoiled girl, so. Honestly, I like don't want to talk anymore. I ran out of topics. But I'll come back another day. This is supposed to be a short video anyways. The Wendy's chicken sandwich was all right. You want to try it, you can try it. Maybe it's just my Wendy's. It is cold right now. I hope you like all of my topics. This video probably is not going to be that long, but I just need to be posting every single Sunday. So by any means possible, right? I have it tatted on me. By any means possible, right? Oh yes, bye. Thank you for watching. Support Palestine, support Congo. Bye.